Normally I talk about minimalism or money or stuff like that, but there have been a lot of changes in my life over the past couple months and uh, some pretty big ones coming up in the next few months. So I decided that uh, maybe it was a good time to do a bit of a life update video. I wanted to talk about some things that have been going on in my uh, personal life, some big announcements, and also uh, some things that are going on in my business, some different uh, changes that I'm doing with the channel and other stuff I'm working on, so I thought you'd find that interesting. I realized that I've never really done a life update video, um, just like having a rambling conversation with you guys, sharing what I'm actually thinking about and lessons I've been going through my head that don't really always fit in other videos, so that's what this is gonna be. So let's just start with this. Hi. Oh. What do you think, do you wanna be in a video? Yeah? Oh, is that Laura? Baby Laura? Yeah. Oh. Baby, baby. Are you a baby? Mama. Mom has? Baby. Mom has a baby? Baby. Oh, wow. Baby. Belly? In her belly? Yeah. Oh belly. my goodness. Belly. Yeah, in her belly. Laura? Laura doesn't have one though, right? So yeah, uh, we are pregnant and Meredith's due in like three months. We're gonna have a little boy. That'll be very exciting because I've always said sleep's overrated anyways. So I've actually been tracking my sleep uh, with an ultra human ring recently. I'm gonna see what happens to it when we have a second baby because I think that'll be very interesting. I'll let you guys know. Uh, as that happens or how bad it is. And I guess that's a good time to mention that Meredith also has uh, some things that are changing in her life. And that would be, she's been getting more into minimalism. She's been cluttering some stuff and she's actually starting uh, her own channel on like motherhood that um, is just in the beginning stages right now, but hopefully it'll, it'll launch sometime soon. So that'll definitely be a new challenge, but it's also just a way to um, kind of remember some stuff like I really like doing vlogs that are just like our normal everyday lives And then she's also really into uh, Motherhood and different parenting things and sourdough and pregnancy stuff. So she will have an outlet to talk about all that. So that's um, I guess another chapter that's gonna be starting in our lives soon but So I guess that leads us to kind of this idea that we've been really focused on and that is building a life that we don't want and escape from I talked about this more in depth in, uh, in another video, but a couple things we're actually doing at our home here to improve that life and make it so that we don't really want to do anything else besides our normal day-to-day -day lives. Or one, we uh, are getting chickens next year, so we're building like a chicken coop right now. That should be fun, and I'm looking forward to like sharing that journey with you guys. We're also redoing the upstairs uh, to make a bedroom for Laura, so I can actually like get the rest of my office back and create more content there, actually have space to work. Since I don't have a commute or anything like that, we're actually investing into our home to make it more functional uh, for the needs of you know us. Yeah, a lot has been changing um, in the the YouTube side of things in like a good way because um, I've been able to kind of build some systems to allow me to work like two to five hours a week doing one video a week on my main channel, which is not a lot of time. It used to take me like 20, 30 hours to do the exact same amount of work, but I've been able to like systematize it so well that I'm currently like eight weeks uh, ahead on YouTube videos. I just, I'm just having trouble like getting them edited at the pace that I'm making them. And I realize that's not a common thing for most YouTubers as I talk to them. So I've been taking the extra time and I'm trying to make more videos like this that are kind of raw, less edited that I can do myself. Also working on some side projects like construction things like you guys have saw. Been getting more into baking sourdough stuff, different coffee things, spending time with my family more. But also I've been working on building a course called like the five hour YouTuber for other people who want to, you know, kind of <laughs> spend five hours a week or less on YouTube, which honestly, I don't know how big a portion of my audience is gonna be into that. But I'm like so obsessed about it and it's improved my life so much that I just wanna help other people with it. And it's been really kind of like uh, scary for me because every time you start something new, there's this opportunity again to fail. I could just keep doing YouTube and be guaranteed that I'll have some level of success. Not like guaranteed, but like this is what I'm good at, this is what's safe, it's what's comfortable, it's what's very easy. But if I never try that next thing, even though there's like a probably a good chance that I'm gonna fail at it, I'll just keep the few skills that I have and I won't be forced to learn sales. I won't be forced to work on bigger projects. I won't be forced to put myself out there in front of a lot of people with the opportunity to fail and either succeed or fail. You know? So I've been trying to just get outside of my comfort zone more, which is I think something that most people don't do. I hate doing it, but I also love doing it. You know, if it's easy, then you're probably not growing. You're, you're not helping people as much as you could. 
you know, helping yourself as much as you could. So that's just something I've been thinking about a lot. Like what are different challenges that I can do for myself where yes, I don't need to do them. I could just do like very little and get by, but do I want to get by or do I want to be proud of the things that I have done? Do I want to build really cool things that help people and do them in a sustainable way where it doesn't take over my life? But I want to make sure that I keep pushing myself. Also kind of off topic, I really need a haircut. It's been like six months or something. Look how gray I'm getting. I have also started looking for a Tesla, which is really fun. Uh, so I'm closing in on half a million subscribers. Should be, you know, three to six more months, depending on like what happens. And when I originally set this goal, of, like once I hit half a million subscribers, I'll get a Tesla. Like I'd never thought I would hit half a million subscribers. So that's really cool. So I'm looking into buying used ones, possibly buying new ones. See what like the best option is to have a relatively cheap Tesla and then deciding if we want to keep that and have two cars, which like I haven't had in a really long time or uh, stay with one car and sell the car we're having now. So that's something that I've been looking into. It's been so easy to say like, you know, maybe I shouldn't get a Tesla. Maybe I shouldn't even have these different things as a goal, like a farm and whatever else, because uh, I can't afford them right now. But if you kind of shut your brain off like that, uh, you never force yourself into growth. And by having kind of big goals and working on big things, it's kind of forced me to grow a lot, which has been really cool. I also do think that YouTube is changing a little bit into more of this realistic, less edited style of like normal people talking about normal things that they're really thinking about and not like this huge spectacle, Mr. Beastification, everything is perfect. And that's something that I want to be more of because that's when it, uh, that's what like I fell in love with YouTube. I was watching these creators that are like, I relate to you so much. You're just a normal person going through life. And, and while it's great to make high quality videos that are like engaging and get great, uh, you know, engagement and that type of stuff. There's also, I think a real place and desire for real, content, real open, unedited type of stuff, even though like I stutter a lot. So this is like edited. It's not just like one long shot, but I don't know. I really want to get more back to that because that's what really helped me uh, to see vulnerability, see real life. So you can expect more of that coming on my channel. I want to experiment with it, even if it like totally tanks. I do think that it helps people more than the super edited stuff. So, so it's going to be a crazy year. Going to have a baby boy gonna get a Tesla. Really been getting into working out and biohacking. Um, so that's why I'm starting off with like this ring. I've got a sauna and a cold plunge coming. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna start experimenting with more of that, seeing how I can um, perform the best that I can, be as healthy as I can and as happy and as mentally clear and as not depressed as I can be because it's easy to fall into that. Um, but that's why I've really been getting into diet and exercise and biohacking and all this stuff. So uh, I'm excited for this year. And I, I thank you guys so much for letting me like do this for like literally sit on a couch and this is work right now. This is work for me. I cannot believe it. And yeah, so thank you guys. I, I really thank you. I'm out. I'm going to go find some food and edit this video.